Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Mitch in the Kitchen. And today we're making chili. This is a great dish for home gating. All the ingredients from this dish were delivered right to my door with hy V Isles Online. We're about to get this chili going. I can't wait to show you how I do it. That Coke is the secret ingredient that's really gonna bring the whole dish together. Let's get to it. First up, we're gonna get the ground beef in the pan. We're gonna get that browned off, and with it, we're gonna cook our onion and celery and get that softened up for us. Just a little bit of oil into the pan. Our ground beef here, about one pound of it, right into the pan. We have onion and celery. This is one medium onion and four stalks of celery chopped up. Now we are gonna season this up with some salt and pepper. Once the ground beef is browned up, that's gonna be our cue to go on to our next step. With the ground beef, you know, you can chop it up as fine as you want. You can leave it into those nice, you know, thick, hearty pieces. Our beef is browning, our vegetables are starting to get soft, and now's the time that we wanna add our next ingredients. Our next step is gonna to be to add tomato sauce, beef broth, and our dry spices. The majority is gonna be chili powder. Uh, we got two tablespoons of that. We've also got some ground garlic, some paprika, and some cumin. At this point, you want to bring it up to a boil and then turn it down and let it simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes. Our chili has been simmering away here. Now it's time for the next step, and time for our second ingredient, a nice can of Coke. We're actually only using eight ounces. Now I'm gonna add our drained kidney beans. Now I'm gonna add some hot sauce. I'm probably gonna use just about a teaspoon here. We're gonna let this chili go for at least 15 minutes. It's gonna be done after that, but the longer you can let it go, the better it's gonna be. Our chili has been cooking away, it's reduced down. The meat, the beans have really soaked in a lot of that good flavor. I wanna see how I did, I'm really excited. I'm gonna go ahead and serve myself up a bowl. I'm gonna put just a little bit of raw diced onion on top. That's hot, number one. Number two, it tastes just fantastic. It's the perfect bowl of chili, it's really well rounded. My mouth is on fire. I've got an ice cold Coke to go with it, it's gonna cool me down. Let's go to sip. All right, this chili dish is fantastic. I hope you give it a try. It's the best chili I've ever had. That Coke in there really brings it all together. If you do, tag me, let me know on social media. I'd love to see your finished dish. Enjoy.